Hello, everyone. I'm Barry Darnell from the Red Team Village. And today we are here with Omar Santos from the Red Team Village, as well as our guest, Ipsect from Hack the Box. Hey, guys. What's going on? Oh. Uh, Ipsec, uh, Hack the Box has been a longtime supporter of the village. Uh, can you tell me more about the company? Yeah. Um, Hack the Box is a hands on security training platform, and our main goal is to make good training readily available to anyone in the world. If you're new to a topic or just the field in general, we have Hack the Box Academy, and it's a guided learning experience, which just means we have written material and hands-on labs. And again, when building this, accessibility was our number one desire. So we created the Pwn Box, which allows you to have a whole operating system in your browser, so the machine you're doing this learning on doesn't even have to be powerful. You can do it on like a Chromebook. If for some reason you want to do it on a phone, you can. I wouldn't recommend that. But Everything's done within a web browser. If you want to bring your own OS, we also provide a VPN pack for you so you can join your OS to the VPN and go on learning. In addition to the Academy, we have unguided learning, which is what we're most famous for. This is the weekly challenges machines or entire like networks we put out on the platform and that we ask people not to publicly talk about these challenges until they retire, which is typically 20 weeks. This is my favorite and what I credit most of my success to because it really enforces building good social relationships that not only help get you the help when you need it, but also when teaching, it often validates your understanding of it and it's proven to help memory retention. So I have a lot of friends from my in my social network that include Barry. I met him through another friend who met him at DerbyCon, which is a similar event of Red Team Village. And the funny thing is, both my other friend, Kyle and Barry, all lived within like 30 miles of each other, but we met like hundreds of miles away. So definitely like important to go view and travel and experience the community because you'll never know who you find and how close people may be. It's a small world. Absolutely. I think we've all been cooped up these last uh, few months here. I think a lot of people are excited to go in person to Las Vegas to attend DEF CON. And so we're really excited to see some of our old friends and, and make some new ones. Um, speaking of, of, of that community, you know, Hack the Box is a very vibrant community, both on their Discord as well as all over Twitter. Can you tell me a little bit more about the people behind Hack the Box, maybe some projects that you might be working on? Yeah, we have a innovation team that's designed at like pushing what we think is the limit. So typically most of our stuff is either a Docker or a VMware image. And the innovation team is looking into Google Cloud, AWS, and Azure to provide a pro lab called Black Sky, which is just based upon those types of features. So if you want to exploit IAM or do a lot of those unique cloud things, Black Sky Lab is going to be that. We also have, as you said, the Discord community. We have Roadrunner who runs that. And they help provide a lot of good support and just learning to anyone in addition to a bunch of CTFs. I think we run the CTF like every other month or something. It's insane. Well, talking about the CTF and talking about all the activities, you know, throughout the years, you guys have supported the Red Team Village tremendously. So first of all, thank you and thank you, uh, Hack the Box. So uh, one of, I got a couple of questions, right? So one of the questions is, you know, what will you say that is the best part about sponsoring community efforts like the Red Team Village CTF this year? I mean, obviously it helps the community grow. And most of my like relationships, I can credit almost all my professional success as to leeching off my friend's knowledge because no one can know everything. And I can't speak for anyone at Hack the Box, but I know a bunch of my friends at Hack the Box are super excited to play a CTF built by other people. And we've played the Red Team Village CTS for quite a while. Um, I vaguely remember one, I think two years ago, that involved exploiting a printer, which was new to all of us. We were all like big um, binary exploit people, and then it threw a different architecture at us that we never really experimented with. And it was just a lot of fun to play. So super excited to sponsor an event that we can participate in and learn new things to hopefully put out on our platform in the future. Thank you. Appreciate that. I think that you're hitting my next question, which is why do you think sponsoring the, the Red Team Village this year is so important for the community? Yeah, um, number one, it's important to, like, with COVID and all, we want to increase the socialization and everything. We've been all cooped up. And the Red Team Village incorporates all of Hack the Boxes things. The main thing was being accessible. Um, if you can't travel, you can do it online and form a team. And additionally, if 
you want, it's available for the high cost of zero dollars, which aligns with kind of our methodology and what we want. All our machines are available for free for a time. And then once they retire, then you have to pay a small fee to gain access to it because hosting 150 images permanently would just be expensive. Can't do that for free. Um, additionally, I believe InfoSec is a unique profession where team building activities have immeasurable impact. If you look at the non-InfoSec teams, they still do team building activities. Like you have that gimmicky trust fall and escape room, et cetera. And they're doing them just to help build that social bond between coworkers. So you know it's valuable since that's the only thing they care about. In the InfoSec world, we have CTFs that is just like that on steroids. It has all that same social bonding benefits. Like I mentioned earlier, I play CTS with Barry. I've played CTS with OXDF, Mr. Ben, John Hammond, a bunch of people. I just have a lot of fun with playing these CTS along with coworkers. And in addition to that social bond that you build, it also gives you a lot of techniques that you may be able to immediately provide your work value because you're joining hands with a bunch of other companies to learn things. It wouldn't surprise me if you do the CTF and then find something you can immediately turn around to do on your job. I remember doing almost any pro lab, I'll use Offra as an example, where the foothold involves exploiting Splunk. And I had a pen test that I kept missing this vector on because I just didn't know it and Mr. Ben put it in that pro lab. So when I did that, it was just like an eye-opening thing of, oh God, what have I been missing? So definitely the big social aspect is huge here. Awesome. And, and uh, I couldn't agree more. And, and, and once again, you know, thank you. I have one more last question. When it's around the benefits that your team actually will receive by participating at the, you know, DEF CON Red Team Village CTF this year. Yeah. Um, Hack the Box and Red Team Village are almost anonymous in what we provide and our methodologies. So the only unfortunate thing is the Red Team Village CTF is a yearly thing, while Hack the Box produces new things on a weekly basis. It's probably not to the scale that Red Team Village will be doing just because it's constant. But if you're itching to do more after doing the CTF, definitely check out the platform if you haven't and go over to Hack the Box because I'm sure you'll love the challenges we put on the site. Awesome. So once again, thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you, Hack the Box, you know, for sponsoring the Red Team Village. And I hope to see you at DEF CON. Yeah, take care.